Piasetsky achieves first flight of tilt duct aerial reconfigurable embedded system demonstration vehicle. On September 2024, Piasetsky Aircraft Corporation PIAC marked a turning point in vertical takeoff and landing VTOL technology with the successful first flight of its tilt duct aerial reconfigurable embedded system demonstration vehicle Ares DV. Conducted in Essington, Pennsylvania, this test represents a major advance for autonomous missions such as casualty evacuation and cargo resupply. The initial flight, performed at Piasetsky's West Helipad, tested the Ares DV's capability to maintain a stable hover, a performance further demonstrated during a second flight with the addition of the U.S. Army's mobile multi-mission module M4. This historic moment highlights Piasetsky's ongoing innovations in the VTOL sector, supported by a 37 million strategic funding initiative involving the U.S. Air Force and Army. The Ares vehicle, which can operate unmanned or with a crewed flight module, is notable for its small landing footprint an essential feature for expeditionary and shipboard operations. Its modular design allows for rapid adaptation to various mission needs, from reconnaissance to logistics, significantly reducing costs and logistical footprint. John Piasetsky, CEO of Piasetsky Aircraft, shared his enthusiasm for the project's progress, after years of research and development, Ares represents a milestone in our long history of innovation. This success paves the way for the next phases, which will see Ares evolve towards fully autonomous flight demonstrations for KSAVAC and logistics missions. The integration of Honeywell Aerospace's compact fly-by-wire system in the Ares DV highlights the technology's ability to enhance the safety and performance of smaller aircraft. Dave Shaladay, Vice President at Honeywell, emphasized the productive collaboration with Piasetsky, which allowed the advanced technology to be adapted to the compact format of the Ares DV.